time to take another look at a piece of Nebraska history. This season marks 100 years of Husker football in Memorial Stadium. And now you may not realize this, but Memorial Stadium wasn't actually the first home of Nebraska football. So joining us now with more on this is Chris Goforth with History Nebraska. Good morning, Chris. Well, good morning. I know a lot of people probably don't want to talk about Husker football <laughs> today, but you know the first home game is this weekend. It is. Yeah, That's and true. well, and as you said, uh, this Memorial Stadium hasn't always been the uh, the home for Husker football. They started there 100 years ago, but actually we've got to go back a little bit further than that. And our staff members, David Cru uh, David Bristow and Ben Cruz, uh, did some digging into the history of Nebraska football. Of course, it all started in 1889. A group of students pooled their money together to purchase a football and began organizing teams. At that time, the best area to play had trees that were in the way. Now, keep in mind, this is during a time when Nebraska was more like a treeless prairie, so cutting down trees was deeply frowned upon. Eventually, the original football field ran along 10th Street, now Stadium Drive, between present-day Architecture Hall and T Street. Over time, amenities were added, including grandstands in 1897, crowd control staff in 1899, and wooden fencing a few years later. But then the future of football was thrown into chaos after the Board of Regents approved the construction of a new physics building on the same space as the field. So when Brace Laboratory was built in 1904, the field shifted north. Now fields at the time were 110 yards from the goal to goal. There were no end zones back then. And the new South Goal was only three yards away, three yards from the new laboratory building. So you imagine running to score and there's a building just feet away from you. Well, in 1906, Richards Hall was built. That forced the football field to move again, this time to a more familiar location, just north and east of 10th and T Street. The new field ran east to west rather than north to south like its predecessors, and the area would slowly be improved upon over the years, and Nebraska would play on this new Nebraska field for about a decade. Then, in 1923, that spring, ground was broken on a new football stadium and Nebraska's permanent football home, rightfully named Memorial Stadium in honor of the soldiers who fought in World War I, opened that fall. Wow, yeah, that's really interesting, and it's really neat to see those old photos. I like the cardigans that the ladies were wearing. <laughs> I know. I'd that, wear that. That's yeah, <laughs> it's really neat. And uh, where would people go to get more information on stories like this? Well, this story specifically you're going to find in our fall issue of Nebraska History Magazine, which will be published and mailed out here probably in a few weeks, so you can pick that up at the Nebraska History Museum. Of course, our website, history.nebraska.gov, is a wonderful resource. Social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. X, whatever you want to call it, we're on there as well. You're going to find some really cool stories about how that first game at Memorial Stadium, Nebraska did not wear red. Hmm, interesting too. Good stuff. Yeah. Maybe you'll have to tell us more about that next time. I'll have that ready for you. <laughs> All right, thank you, Chris. Thank you so much.